Today I'm putting Dynan lowering springs on a 2011 BMW 550. First step, disconnect this uh, this harness. It goes to this plug here, this little cover. <clears throat> I'm going to disconnect this and then just swing this up out of the way and that's going to come out with the shock it's for the active dampening and then um, release this uh, the sway bar um, link tab off of the strut and then I'm going to raise it up and take the lower shock bolt off. So I'm gonna do that stuff right now. All right, after I did all that stuff, lower the car down and um, release these three bolts. That holds the uh, upper mount to the chassis. All right, next step is um, get this bolt, this pinch bolt for the upper, the upper ball joint out. Pull that bolt out and that nut and then um, get a punch with a point and just drive that ball joint right out. All right, once you pull that upper ball joint, you can push down on this, um, this whole hub assembly low enough where you can just get the, the shock, the whole assembly right out. It's, it's pretty easy. I couldn't film while I was doing it, but um, pull the upper ball joint push down on this whole assembly, make sure you don't stress out this flex line, you know, for the brakes, you have to make sure you keep this inwards. And then I just lightly push the uh, ball joint back into place to hold all this in position while I'm working on the strut. Now I'm gonna bring this to the spring compressor, and squeeze down the spring and um, pull the old spring off and install the new one. All right, now I have it in a spring compressor. I'm going to hold the center shaft with the Allen and then use a drop wrench to, um, to spin that nut off there. All right, well, I just released that upper nut and swapped over the spring. Uh, this is another customer supplied parts, so the, um, they opted out of replacing the upper mount and the, uh, the snub mount yeah, along with the uh, dust shield and all of the parts that um, would have been a good idea to replace at this time so they just want the springs stuck on here so that's what I'm doing so put it back into place made sure all the stops the spring stops were lined up on the mounts and um, holding it back together the same way I took it apart stuck it back in putting this back on first and then um, tightening the upper mount and then tightening the lower hardware and the sway bar link and uh, front will be done. All right, now I'm on to the rear suspension. Um, first thing you're gonna wanna do is disconnect the harness. Just this one wire here, it runs down the length of the control arm, it clips in a couple places, then goes into this box. You're gonna wanna remove that one, this one right here. And just let that wire dangle. You can even wind it up around the uh, strut carefully, make it a little bit easier to keep an eye on it. Once that's disconnected, you want to take this lower bolt loose. It's the spring is captured, so it's safe. It's not loaded. The only thing that you're gonna see shift is the um, the control arms have a lot of tension from the bushings being at a you know at ride height versus this is with a suspension hanging so it'll want to spring back up at you but it's not it's not a big deal just just loosen that bolt and then um, I'm gonna do that right now and lower the car down all right next thing you got to do is get inside the car fold the seats down it makes it a little bit easier and then pop these speaker grills out I use um, this tool right here it's very thin it doesn't damage anything and then I just carefully get up underneath it and, and pry this this speaker grill up like this and, it, and that's uh, the best way I found to do it so you pop that out and then you're gonna want to remove your larger speaker all right now with that speaker out you can see you can get to the the bolts 
there's three of them. I already took one of them off right there. The, the nuts that hold the upper mount. So you just undo those 13 millimeter sockets, what you'll need. And um, then the whole strut assembly will be loose and you can remove it from the bottom.